Okay, facing a paladin. Not an opening hand I like to see. Not at all. So, let's try to find my early game. My early game consists of a juggler and a bear trap, it seems, this time. Now mad scientist as well. That's great, that's awesome. What type of paladin is this going to be? I'm not sure whether we're going to find out immediately. Nope. It's just regular paladin stuff. I'll answer the scientist. And kill the scientist and you just used shield, but that's going to give me some sort of trap. Unless he has a silence in hand, now he might. I guess I'll keep, keep Juggler Unleash for the combo. Which trap did I get? Snakes. Mm, that's so attractive. I'll go with the bear. So if he attacks face, then the bear comes out. If he attacks the bear, then the snakes come out. So I don't get the juggles with the snakes as I would like to have, but that happens. A bit too early, a bit too early. That's just a little early. I'm one mana short of being able to do the juggle unleash. Just a little bit short of being able to do that. He can't coin out a Quartermaster next turn though. So maybe it was just set up for a good juggle unleash. What can he play on turn 4? He doesn't have any taunts that he could play on turn 4. I'll just set up for the best juggle unleash I can. He won't be able to quartermaster them yet. He won't be able to get a taunt up yet. He can just flood the board more and play right into my juggle unleash. I can take that. Take that few points of damage. Yeah, go ahead and give me that. And then for the juggle unleash. He might have a consecration which he can then counter this with and go for the board clear. If he doesn't have consecration, then this is just pure awesome. And one guy left for the for a hound to clear. Let's see. Let's see soon whether he has consecration. At least that's going to take his entire turn if he has a consecration now. Uh, too bad he had it. I would have been in a really dominant position if he didn't have one. But he had it. But that's alright, that's alright. Now I could go Elec Hound. Let's go Elec first. Then I can either Shredder or Hound Master. Getting to draw my Belcher is nice. I don't have any other beasts, so I will go with the Hound Master now. I don't have other beasts, so Hound Master value later on would be a bit questionable. Now this match is dead even. Let's get the guy out. That's fine, that's fine. I'll play boom. And attack face. He should have some alders or Keepers of Uldaman, maybe even Blessing of Kings. But that's fine as well, that's fine as well. Another Consecration? That was a bit of a surprise. Now good boom bots to face and I will have lethal. Will be a 10. I can do... Six, eight, nine. I can do nine. I'm one short. I'm one short still. Next turn he will be at eight, so he might be able to heal. So I can do six with the kill commands. I can do eight. 
I'm gonna need to use hero power this turn. Just in case he plays something like a Tyrion. In that case I don't think I want to play the Belcher, I want to play the Shredder and the Scientist. And then hero power and attack phase. Now I think we've got this. I don't think he can both heal and clear. And playing Tyrion doesn't do anything because I can just go through with spells. Yeah, we got this. Doesn't matter what trap it is. It was freezing trap, but that doesn't even matter. So there we could go past his Tyrion and do the face. Thank you for watching. For more action, please visit my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, remember to subscribe.